Hi, I'm Rob. I'm an amateur CNC enthusiast, and I'd heard some people talking about using relays to turn on the router power and other things on their machines. And I've done that in the past, and I actually fried my board, so I'm redoing mine right now. I got some sparks that I'm to use, and I thought I'd do a quick video to show people how I'm making it work for my system. I have a Dave Gatton designed Sidewinder CNC machine. It's a plywood version. You get the plans free from him and to build a machine. I'm really happy with it. I know there's other fancier, better machines out there, but I have a good time with mine. It does what I want to do with it. For my stepper kits, I have a Xylotex 4-axis, uh, 4 425-ounce package. Plus, I have the breakout board, or Bob, from Xylotex also. And I'm running Linux CNC, and I've customized my screens a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do is go into the settings I have in Linux CNC. It shows off, so we'll go down to CNC, StepConf Wizard. We'll start modifying existing. And we'll go to the, this one that I've been playing with. And the main setup screen, it varies for everyone, but if you have a system like mine, be a good starting point for you to play with. Forward. Okay. So amplifier enable. That's the controller the power for the stepper motors. Down here is spindle on. That's what's going to turn on the router or spindle. And you could use a spindle on for a second one. I also have my VAC system on my machine to go on. And I can use spindle on or I actually used um, coolant mist I used, but you could use spindle on also. Uh, e-stop in and limits switches so that's the main parts i have that connect to my bob on the machine we'll go forward just to show what we've got here um systems in case you have a system like mine you might want to look at what we got here x y and z since i've customized my screens i cannot save this or it'll write over my customized screen so i'm not going to save this i'm going to cancel out and hit Yes, do not do that. Okay, so that was set up. As you can see, this isn't in my actual CNC machine. This is my kitchen. I use a laptop in here for dev testing or testing how I want things to work before I take it out to the machine. So here's what I have. Here's the, the Bob, the breakout board. To power it, I'm using a USB wire that I've come over here and I've cut the end off. And there's four wires in there. Uh, Red and black are the two power ones, and the other two wires, I think it's green and white, are data wires. But you can see I took the black into the, the breadboard here. Black's negative and red's positive. Then we're taking the same black and red over to the breakout board for the power there. So that's powering the breakout board. Then we've got, um, here's my two relays I'm playing with. Get a good look at those. Notice these have three input wires over here, three wires. There's other relays out there that only have two wires. The two wire ones just have positive and negative. You power it, it turns the relay on. You take the power off, it turns the relay off. This one actually has positive and negative in and then a control wire, a signal wire, the blue wire on that one. The other machine here, or relay, has a green wire for that. So it has constant power, positive and negative, and then the signal wire tells it when to turn on and off. I believe they call those module relays instead of the other ones. I could be wrong on that, but that's what someone told me to buy originally, and this is what works good for me. Okay, so back to the breakout board. I mentioned we had a blue and a green wire that are going to the relays. So here's the blue wire. And the green wire going there. Then the other wires we have, the yellow and the white. The yellow is the e-stop. And right now that one's not plugged in. If I ground that, if I plug in the ground, that will trigger the e-stop and shut the system down. And same thing pretty much on the white wire, which is the limit switch. That one's reversed. That one, if I unplug it, it'll hit the limits and go through. Once again, the breakout board and the relays. I've got a multimeter over here. I'll show some testing in a second here. This is my Linux CNC screen. I've customized this right-hand side here. 
Um, not too intensive programming, but I, I do write programs for a living, so maybe it's a little tougher than I think. But there's a lot of documentation on the forum for Linux CNC. There's some examples out there. If there's a lot of questions, I can post to how I did this. Uh, so feel free to make post comments if you have questions on that. If you're not familiar with Linux CNC, here is the E stop button. This will be the to turn on the power for the controller for your stepper motors. Um, let's just do that. We'll turn the power on. You might have heard a click there. That was actually the relays going on for the that would power the controller on my system. And also with a little happy face that we're awake. Turn it off. Power goes back off to that. Let's turn it on. Let me zero the system real quick here. Just tell it that's the zeros. Now I can run a program. Now listen, you might hear the, the other relay kicked on that says the router is on and a little red light alerting the powers to that outlet. So we'll go ahead and hit stop. Hear the click again, the power went off to the relay system. That's most of that, how that works. Uh, if you're not familiar with Linux CNC, this might be a little different, but it's really a pretty simple system. It's one more thing I'll show here. I did create a button here for turn the router on, router off. And the way I was set up, it also would turn the vacuum system on too, though. If you by chance stop a program in the middle of the G code, if you want to restart it, you'll need to restart the router manually because it goes on with the first lines of code. I forget the G code commands, but that's how it turns on and turns off at the end too. So if you run a program, the router will go off automatically too. Uh, now I'll do a quick example of how the relays actually work. So I have to hold this by hand so it's going to jump around. Here's my multimeter, and right now it's showing a one, so the circuit's not completed. I'll hit start router. Here to click, and that's going to go down to zero and turn that back off. So how I have my system set up is I have just got a simple extension cord, cut the female end off of it. So you got three wires in there. You got a black, white, and a green. The black wire is the hot wire, and that's the wire that's going to go in to your relay. So one, the middle one would probably be in, and the this one, the right hand side would be out. And then those three wires, the out wire plus the green and white, would go to. I have an outlet, but you could do the other end of the extension cord again. Still, plug your router into that, and that would turn your router on and off. Same thing with the controller, vacuum system, whatever you have there. So I'm going to go ahead and show the relays here, and I'll turn the router on. The light goes on, light goes off. That's how it works there. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to run the little application, or the little G-code here. So now the system is running. And I mentioned before that the E-stop is the yellow wire. So I'm going to go ahead and ground that. You'll hear everything click. Everything went off. Let me go back here. Controller has no power and router power went off. I will unplug that. And now if I want to turn the, the system back on, I click on that. We have power there. Run the program again. And I mentioned before that the limit switches are reversed. That's the white wire. So I'm going to unplug it again. We hit the limits. System went off. Got our errors that said we hit the limits. And we got that there. Let me plug that back in so I can do something again here. So plug it back in. And we can turn the system back on again. Woohoo, everything worked.